Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and welcome to the new Trailer Tuesday. I have not honestly watched many trailers recently. That's kind of where I started in the beginning of the channel. I haven't watched in a while and it got annoying to stop and try to do reactions every time there was a new one that popped out. I tried to do it right then and there. So I've kind of, I've seen other channels do it and I thought this is kind of fun. It's and it kind of gets it so maybe more of you guys will watch it because there's more than one trailer. I'm going to have multiple trailers. It's not going to be every Tuesday. It's going to be when I have enough trailers that I'm interested in watching. It'll be movie trailers, TV trailers. It'll be a variety. It'll be what looks good to me, what I've been waiting for, stuff like that. So this is going to be try to become a thing. We'll see if you guys like it. If not, we don't have to do it. It's what you guys want. This is for you guys, okay? Um, but... Today I have five I have five trailers. Uh, I think one TV show and then four movies. Some pretty big movies too. I'm like, I didn't realize I, I honestly forgot they were coming out and didn't, didn't realize the trailers were out until literally today, some of them, so I'm excited. But before we get into it, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up, press that subscribe button down below. If you want to support this channel and you want to see more reactions like this every single week, every single day. Thank you so much. And here is the first trailer. We are doing the trailer to that 90s show. Yes, that 90s show. This is going to be on Netflix. I heard about this a while ago. I haven't really kept track of it, so I was surprised to see. It's a little teaser trailer, so it's not a full trailer. But I remember watching that 70s show a lot as a kid. My sister loved it. It was always on the TV, reruns all the time. It still is. And it's a lot of fun. You can't go wrong. And I know, I'm pretty sure all the cast, the original cast is coming back, which is very exciting because they were all great. So I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. Hopefully it's not bad, you know, reboots and when they bring shows back and stuff, it could go either way these days. 50-50 shot of it being horrible or amazing. I guess we'll see. So let's just do this on you guys, okay? Here we go. Oh, she's back here and he's back, yes. Oh. Hey grandma, hey grandpa. Oh wow. Oh, and kid, the basement. Yes, the basement is so it's all like yours. the next generation. On, shirts on and no dancing. No dancing. You're like the guy from Footloose. <laughs> No dancing, you guys. No, no. They go in my room. My foot goes in their ass. You sweet man. I think we should just say, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Get out. See you soon. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. Get out. Extra icy. That was mine. <laughs> we never locked the sliding door. We do now. <laughs> January, okay. Well, I'm intrigued because I love that Mr. and Mr. Foreman are both back, but all these new kids, I don't know. None of them particularly popped out to me. We'll see, I guess. I don't know. The thing is that they didn't show the original cast, which is a little annoying. I guess it's their children, but why didn't they show them? Like... I guess this is just the teaser. Maybe the main trailer will show them. So they want to tease. But if you want to tease, like tease. Tease us with the original cast. So they, at least they, one of my favorite parts of the original show was the mom and dad. So I am thrilled with that. But we'll see. That part made me happy. Rest of it, not so much. It like hit nostalgia. And then it also like went, eh, new stuff. Hmm. Flatline. We'll see. I don't know much until the original, the official trailer, see what's actually happening. I guess it looks like they're, um, oh god, I can't think of any, any of the names. It's been so long since so I watched it. Um, the main boy, his, that's his daughter. His, she moved in with the grandparents. Is he moved in too? Have they moved in or something? What, like, what's going on? Like, what's the plot here? Give us a reason why this suddenly all these kids are here. They all somehow still live in the same exact town. I'll buy it. It's weird. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. 
So that was the trailer for that 90s show. All right, this next one is Guardians of the Galaxy 3. All right, so to be honest, I have not yet watched Thor Love and Thunder or um, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. But I have a feeling this isn't going to have really anything to do with that. I'm not going to spoil anything in the trailer. So I'm really like, I wanted to watch it because I loved the first two Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't care what anyone says. Those are two of my favorites of the Marvel movies. Always love them. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see these goofballs back and how things are a little different since Endgame has happened. Definitely with Gamora. I'm intrigued. I still haven't watched the um, Christmas special yet either. That just came out like a week or two ago, and I haven't watched it, but I will eventually. <laughs> okay, um, let's see what this is all about. I have no idea. I know nothing about it. So, yeah, here we go. We were gone Why is it already so more serious than other ones? But no matter what happens next... Ooh, I like the ship, the galaxy though. Still needs its oh, the uniforms are interesting. What the... We come in peace. Oh, it's kind of cute. Oh, Drax. Come on, Drax. Seriously, what dude. The... No, no, no. Oh no! Oh no! Hey. Well, that. Well, that was not good. Don't forget. This is way more serious. Oh, we're gonna see Baby Raccoon. We have been the running colors mm -hmm. our whole lives. Pete, I'm done running. Oh. Oh, here's that music. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, oh wow. We'll all fly away together. Oh, oh god. Into the forever. Oh god, this looks dark. Beautiful sky. Oh, what a, oh. We are yes, we're. Kill a few people. Kill no people. Kill one guy, one stupid guy who no one Yes, loves. okay. Now you're just making it <laughs> Oh, wow. Five. Wow. Oh, no, don't restart. Okay. Well, coming out of May. Okay, so we got a little bit of time. I got some time to watch the other ones. I know these guys are in Full Love and Thunder. I realized that when the trailer started, and I was like, I'm really happy they didn't spoil anything. Well, at least I didn't notice anything that was, like, off from... Besides, a lot of things off because of the whole end game, the time they were gone and shit. So it's nice to see what's going on. I'm intrigued by the uniforms they're wearing. Obviously, I saw uh, what's his name, who I know was casted as um, Adam Warlock, who I know is an integral part of the comics, and I'm intrigued. He looked interesting. Uh, we get Rocky Raccoon backstory a little more, which, yes. And an otter at some point I saw, which I love otters. They're one of my favorite animals, so. Hell yeah. Um, I know Groot looks different, and I know that's in, um, it's at least in the, I saw it in the trailers for the Disney, the Christmas special the, on Disney+. Plus. I don't know if that happened in the Christmas special or if it happened in Thor, Love, and Thunder, but he does look different. Um, it's interesting. I don't know if I like it yet. Not, not I don't know. Mm. But it looks a lot more serious and darker than any of the other Guardians of the Galaxy movies. At least by the trailer. And the trailer, like, itself was not as, like, big, hyped-up, energetic music like the other ones had. It was, like, a darker song. It was a little slower. It was a little more serious, which, I don't know. I love it when it's the comedy of it, so it's hard to see it like that. But I guess we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it looks great. It's a little different than what I'm used to with Guardians of the Galaxy, though, so... But it still looks great. But it makes sense that's going to be a little darker after everything that's happened. So, I guess we'll see. I'm very excited for it, though. I really need to catch up on the Marvel movies. I caught up, and then I fell behind again. 
It's just, it's the way the world, it's the way it happens. All right. So now that we watch one Chris Pratt movie trailer, we're going to watch another one. We are going to watch the Super Mario Bros. movie trailer. I saw the teaser, and I will be honest, did it make me thrilled? Just because I don't think Chris Pratt can do a really good Mario voice. I don't know. I don't know. If you think it's amazing, go ahead. That's your opinion. But my opinion is I don't think it's that great. It doesn't sound like Mario. And from what I read, it was like he worked really hard. And they had a lot of time, tough time deciding what voice to use. I'm like, that's what you ended up with. It doesn't really sound like Mario at all. It sounds like Chris Pratt. But maybe this trailer will change me. We'll see. I need to hear more of it, maybe. I don't know. I love Mario and all that fun stuff, though. We'll see. So, let's get into it, okay? Here we go. What is this, a Coliseum here? Alright. Oh, Donkey Kong! Oh, feels more realistic. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not sure if you know who I am, Luigi, but I'm about to rule the world. Wow. Uh, yay. <laughs> but there's one problem. There's a human has a mustache just like you. <laughs> Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit uh. with, a hat with the letter of his first name on it? <laughs> Because I don't! <laughs> Bowser is coming. Together, we... That's Anya Taylor-Joy's voice. ...are going to stop that monster. Oh. Now, look I love us. a tough, We're badass adorable. Princess Peach. Oh, I got this. No problem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So it's just like the video Everybody game. Up. Our big adventure begins now! Ah, get it off, get it off, get it off! <laughs> There's a huge universe out there with a lot of galaxies. They're all counting on us. No pressure. Mm. Rainbow Rose. <laughs> The Wahoo wasn't too bad. I don't know at all. I'm a little iffy on it. I'm a little iffy, still. Um, the little woohoo at the end was not too bad, but the rest of the voice, whenever I heard Mario, it sounded like Chris Pratt. It didn't sound like an Italian plumber. It did not sound like the video games. I don't know. And I like Anya Taylor-Joy. I just don't know if I can see Princess Peach and hear her voice. It doesn't fit together like I thought it might. And I, at least I need to hear her say the hi yeah, And then maybe, but I do like Anja Joy, it's not that bad. The, really the bad one was Luigi and Mario. I don't know if I like the voice acting there. It's not what I want in a Mario, Luigi, Super Mario movie. I was expecting more Mario than Chris Pratt, if you notice that. Just, just my preference, though. But everything else looked really fun. An adventure through galaxies, cause and it's like very similar. They had the platforms, like the game. That's really fun. They had like the fire flower and everything. That was cool. I'm intrigued to see this. I'm not saying it could be bad. I'm not saying it could be amazing. I think it could be okay. Mm, I'll probably keep my hopes a little low for it, but I think overall it probably will end up being a good movie. I don't think it's going to be like amazing, though. Just my guess. Okay, let's see. What other trailers do I have? Next I have Transformers. And this is Rise of the Beast. This is a teaser trailer. All right, so Transformers, love the first one. I like the second one. Third one, not so much. Fourth, just kept going downhill. And it's honestly, I'm amazed 
they still are going to make them, but they still end up making money. I looked, I was I was intrigued a while back. I was like, well, they make another one. I looked and they were, and then I looked up like, how? And it's because the movies still make a lot of money, which is amazing. Yeah, because they, like, the latest ones have not been good. It's been rough. Like, really rough. Ooh. But, I don't know. You never know. Franchises can always come back. I don't even know what number this is. This is number, what, six, seven? Something like that. I want to say six. It's either six or seven. I think. It's been a while since I watched any of these. But, I don't know. Rise of the Beast. So there's, like, Beast cars. That would be interesting. I always liked the effects of it. I always looked cool. I never actually... The only one I haven't seen is Bumblebee. But that's not really in the Transformers... I don't think in, like, the same universe, I don't think. Well, no, I've never seen it, though. Should I watch it? Is it worth it? I heard, actually, some people really loved it. I personally have never... Don't really know anyone who's seen it, though, so... Um. Alright, um... Let's just do this, okay? Here we go. Transformers for millions of years. Oh. Oh, God. So then the rainforest, the robots. Oh, ooh, gorilla. Stand down. Optimus Prime. I'm not the one to fear, Prime. There is a darkness coming. Of course there is. Is it all new cast in this one? Oh, I I can imagine that is terrifying. Oh, Halloween! Whoa, that's quite advanced. Oh my God! If I just killed that guy. Okay. Third one, Jaguar one. Oh, that's a cool looking one. Of all the threats. From both your past and future. You've never faced anything like they this. They say that every movie. Let them come. Oh, oh, that's heavy. These are all just to make money off toys, isn't it? Aren't they? I swear to God. And if you don't know, that you know. Scary girl. Scary girl. Oh, she's real. At it looks like there's a female robot. I feel like we never get those in Transformers. Is it just me or there's just. Uh, it's June. Wow, okay. Already releasing a trailer. Wow. Oh, I guess teaser, but I I was thinking I saw that robot. It looks like a female robot. Like I feel like we haven't had a female transformer. Is it just me? I was like, have we never? I really just like realized. I remember there being that one evil female one with the tongue in like the second movie. Second, yeah, second one. But that's all. Like I can't think of any female ones that. Were, oh, and the, and another villain. There've only been villains. There hasn't been a transformer. That a good guy, female robot, which is very weird, but it looks like they have that. Um, but as again, it's like it seems very generic. There's gonna be a lot of action and blow ups and scenes while the sun is setting. I don't know what's going on. There's of course some bad guy who's worse than the last one somehow. Even though each time they basically destroy half the planet. So, how many times can the planet rebuild? I'm wondering, really. <laughs> Um, new cast, it looks like. Um, I don't know. No, I don't know one I know, so. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, definitely not high hopes. It seems a lot for Hasbro, so they can make tons of toys to sell for these movies. It feels like that's what the, basically Transformers movies have become. Long, big, action-packed ads for little boys to buy Transformers figures. 
And it works, so that's why they do it. Good for them, I guess. Okay. We have one last one. This is one I've been really waiting for and really dreading at the same time. It is the trailer for Indiana Jones 5. I really don't know much about this besides apparently this some time travel, which scares the fuck out of me because the last Indiana Jones was bad. And then now, um, oh gosh, why can't I think of his name? He plays Indiana Jones. Why can't I think of his name? Oh my god, I feel so bad. I love him. But he's old. He's pretty darn old now. And he usually does, does his own stunts. So how is this going to look if he's still doing his own stunts? I don't know. I'm going to feel worried for him the whole time. And then if there's time travel, oh. Last time they tried aliens, and that did not work out well. But the first three, amazing. And then that, oh, they had to ruin that fourth one. I don't know what it's going to happen. I'm really scared it could be bad, but I'm really hoping it's good. Because I really want it to be good. I really want to love it. So I guess we'll see you in a second, okay? Here we go. I miss the desert. Oh, I'm hot. Oh. I miss the sea. Oh, it's a water stuff. Huh? And I oh. miss waking up every morning. Oh, I'm so excited already. Wondering what wonderful adventure the new day will bring to us. Here's some four. That's his name. Come and, and go. Oh, I love him. And Perhaps. he's back too. Perhaps oh, not. yes. I don't believe in magic. But a few times in my life. Oh, and Phoebe Waller Bridge. I've seen things. Things I can't explain. Is that Cannibal Lecter there? And I've come to believe it's not so much what you believe. There's definitely time travel going on. It's how hard you believe it. Oh, the music! Oh my god, I feel like a little kid again. Oh, and the time. And the Dial of Destiny. Who is this man? I'm her godfather. Her <laughs> godfather, okay. Get back. <laughs> yeah, you have a whip, they have guns. <laughs> June 30th, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it got me in the feels. I'm watching it, I can't wait, I don't care. Time travel, hopefully it's amazing, hopefully they do it well. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who now I've watched all of Fleabag. I'm so excited. By the way, if you want to watch my reaction to Fleabag, down on my Patreon, go check them out. But, oh, she, it's interesting that since she's in this movie, I want to say it's something about her writing. Either, was she, did she write this movie? Or was it the James Bond movie she wrote? I don't know. But I love her anyway. She's amazing. And um, obviously Harrison Ford, the music. Uh, I like the action, the whip. Oh. Uh, you know, next Halloween, Indiana Jones is coming back as a costume. Oh, he's a he's a dilf though. Even at that age, ooh, damn. And the hat and the whip. Oh, damn, man. I am so excited. Oh, the music, the action. It just looks so good. Oh, the nostalgia. I hope it doesn't suck. I really hope it doesn't. Because I have a feeling... We might not be able to get a sixth one. I don't know. Are we getting a sixth one? Is it already happening? If it isn't happening soon, there's going to be a problem because he's getting older and older. There's only we got to be careful. Actors are leaving left and right here. Could be very careful. I'm worried, but also very excited. I can't wait, you guys. Uh, that was my last trailer reaction, you guys. My last trailer of the day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this new format of multiple trailers. Let me know if you like it, dislike it. If you don't care either way, just let me know, okay? And I'm going to try and do this every few weeks. after a couple trailers. Depends on how many trailers come out. Uh, multiple trailers like this week. All these trailers came out like this past week. Some weeks, there's not as many trailers. We'll see, though. I'm um, very excited for this. I hope you enjoy this new thing and 
I hope you're having a fantastic day. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, press that subscribe button, subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys next time, okay? Bye.